Well, hello there and welcome. This is Matthew Corey, evangelist, Christian author, and Christian vlogger. And, um, you know, uh, I really feel like the Lord has given me a word for our country. We're in a state of turmoil with what's happening with George Floyd and that case there, you know, and people being hurt and people uh, rioting and things just going haywire right now in our country. And so I want to say a prayer with the coronavirus and all of that. You know, we need, uh, you know, the Lord said in his word that there would be pestilences in the end times and that there would be all kinds of chaos and problems. But, you know, it also says in the scriptures that, um, if my people, which are called by my name, it says it in here, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then and I will hear their cry and will hear their land. I'll hear their prayers. And, you know, that's uh, one of the most important things we can we can do as Christians. And so... I just want to pray right now, a uh, prayer. Lord, I just pray in tongues. I pray for deliverance over our nation. I just pray that you would just uh, heal the hearts of everyone who's African-American, Lord, who's um, dealing with this death of George Floyd. Lord, be with them. Comfort their hearts, Lord. Um, heal our land, Lord. Um, just get rid of the racial divide, Lord. Get rid of the uh, racism in the police departments, Lord. Get rid of uh, um, racial prejudice, Lord, in uh, places of, um, just in all places, Lord, in all areas of our country, Lord. We know that that's not of you, Lord, because you say that we're made in your image. And so all of us are loved by you and we're to love one another and not uh, not be hateful towards one another or do things that harm one another, Lord. We're supposed to be just like you in the way that we love each other and love one another. And so I pray, Lord, that you would protect us all from the coronavirus, Lord. Just keep us, uh, keep us, Lord, in your uh, in the palm of your hand, Lord. And um, I know that uh, you say in your word, Lord, that that the disease and the pestilence will come, but for the righteous, Lord, it will not come near you or your house, Lord. And so I just pray, Lord, that you would just uh, protect all of us, Lord, who are Christians from the coronavirus, Lord, and just uh, and just bring a vaccine, Lord. Bring uh, help the uh, help everybody who's in a political position, Lord, to have wisdom, Lord. Help uh, all the medical professionals to have wisdom, Lord. And we just pray this over our nation and healing over our land. Hamalamashimalamashimal, Lord. In Jesus' name, I just pray in tongues over our nation, Lord. And I pray for those watching right now, Lord, that you would just give them a special blessing, Lord, in their lives and that they would uh, be protected, Lord, that they would uh, and uh, that uh, they would just love each other, love their neighbors themselves, Lord, and that you would just bring blessings and bountiful uh, fruit and uh, financial blessing and blessings in their relationships and their marriage, Lord, um, in their spiritual lives, Lord, in every area of their lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's really the word that the Lord had for me today was just that we've got such a we got such a divide in our country and we need prayer for our country. We need to uh, come back to the Lord and just um, really get on our knees. You know, God's been taken out of the schools. Uh, God's been thrown out of places um, in our in our government, in our um, you know, in, in our public sector. You know, we just need 
um, God's uh, anointing and God's uh, provision and God's, um, we just need God's presence back in our country to, um, to keep us on track and just to, um, just to make us uh, love one another again and just to, um, we just, we need to pray for our president. We need to pray that he's kind in his words, that he's, um, that he's a real leader of him. And I'm, I'm proud of him for, uh, standing up for churches during the coronavirus. But, um, you know, uh, we need to pray that he has wisdom on the racial issues, Lord. I just stand on it. Lord, I just pray. How long is she on the most on the Lord? I just pray that President Trump would have wisdom on this uh, issue of race in our country and, and, um, that you would just, uh, pr that you would just, uh, bring, uh, people to you, Lord, through this whole situation and that the president would be wise in his words and wise in his actions, Lord, and for the, um, for the mayor of Minneapolis, Lord, and for the governor of Minnesota, that they would be wise, Lord, and that you help the protests to be peaceful, but we understand that, uh, that African Americans have every right to protest, Lord, and that this is uh, something that's important to them and important for our country. In your name we pray, amen. So uh, that's just a word that the Lord had for me today and uh, something I wanted to share with you. And um, just pray that... Um, you would uh, that you would uh, just seek the Lord and uh, pray for our country. I would encourage you. And uh, one of my new books that you may want to get, which is really good and will help you in um, overcoming negativism and negative thinking in your life is the promises of God for you. It's in the description, the link to it, and it's uh, on Amazon. And it really, I take you through prayers in there, claiming God's promises over your life. There's 30-some uh, promises in there from God. It's 100 and some pages. And um, you'll really be blessed by it if you decide to get it. And... Um, the other book is uh, on my life story from hell to heaven about how I was a mobster and a Satanist and a gangster and uh, came to Christ. And that's why I'm in ministry now and do my writing. So uh, there's a link to that book from hell to heaven in the description as well and a few other books that I have. So the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you and the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace forever. Amen. <laughs>